Alrighty, here's page three of our unit two, part two study guide. The directions here say Aaliyah was trying to find the perimeter of the rectangle below. She made one mistake, show the correct work, and explain Aaliyah's error. I always like to just work it out first, and then it makes it pretty easy for me to find the error. So I'm going to do perimeter is add up all the sides. So we have two sides that are five and thirty-five hundredths, and we have two sides that are nine and five tenths. I lined up my decimal points. I can add a couple zeros here to fill in those empty spaces. Five plus five is 10, put my zero down, carry my one. Um, five and five is 10, and six here is 16, and one is 17, put my seven down, carry my one. Nine and nine is 18, and 10, that's 28, and one more is 29. 29.7 should be my perimeter, and as I look over here, I see that what Aaliyah did is she didn't line up her decimals. She lined up the numbers, but not her decimals. So, Aaliyah did not line up the decimals. Common mistake. All right, number 10 says, Find the volume of this right rectangular prism. Show your work and your answer on the line here. So we're going to do the um, length times the width times the height. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to be multiplying all these numbers together, but I need to start with two of them. So I'm going to take the 4 and 25 hundredths, and I'm going to multiply that by the 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry my 2. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. Carry my 1. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21. Place my decimal point. So I've got 21 and 25 hundredths, and I've taken care of this value and this value. Now I need to multiply in the 10 and 1 tenth. All right, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 and 2. Uh, add a zero, and I'm not going to multiply this out. This would just be all zeros. There would be four zeros there. You can do that if you want to. Moving over, a did, in fact, I'll just go ahead and put them in. There you go. All right, moving over a digit, two zeros this time. We added one zero here, that means we have to have two zeros here. And now we multiply by one again. One times five is five, one times two is two, one times one is one, one times two is two. Five, two, six, four, one, two. Place my decimal point, one, two, three, one, two, three. And my answer is 214 and 625,000 centimeters cubed. Nope, I did my decimal, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yep, we're good. All right, um, last problem here. We're going to um, find the missing angle here, which means I'm going to add these three together. And because this is a quadrilateral, I'll subtract that from 360. So I'm going to do 112 plus 85 and 7 tenths, plus 64 and 1 tenth. I'll add a decimal point and a zero here to make my work easier. When I add these up, I am going to get 8, decimal point there, 9, 10, 11, carry my 1, 8, 9, 10, 16, carry my 1. I get 261 and 8 tenths. Then I'm going to take that and subtract from 360 because we know that all four angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360. So 261 and 8 tenths, I add a decimal and a zero to the end of my 360. I can't subtract from zero. There's nothing to borrow from here, so go way over here and borrow. Make that one a 10, borrow from that one, make that a 9, and finally make this one a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2, bring my decimal point down. 9 minus 1 is 8. Can't take 6 away from 15, have to borrow, or 5, have to borrow here, make that a 15. 6 from 15 is 9, and then 2 from 2 is 0. So the answer is that my angle, the missing angle right here, measures 98.2 degrees. All right, tune into the next video for page 4.